Testing, testing, one, two, take 57. All right, another beautiful day here, folks. Uh, as you can see, this is from my previous episode of Sea Otter as it's about to enjoy its meal, the sea urchin. And uh, if you want to check it out, uh, how this uh, painting was created, uh, just check uh, my previous episode of this uh, beautiful creature. So for today, just kind of going off of uh, about uh, 10 minutes, here we are. Okay, so let's see, the, 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 the little white color is always helpful right here. Little white color here, it's just a little bit of uh, just Jackson Pollock action here, of course. And uh, let's see, a little bit of a uh, little light blue here. A little bit of light blue right here, folks. And then uh, uh, maybe today I got this ultramarine blue. I gotta, well, I gotta open this thing first. Huh. All right, there you go. Brand new, as you can see, this paint. <laughs> so, ultra blue here, folks. All right, should have done that previously. Sorry about that. So uh, let's do a little, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of a swipe from here, circular swipe, like this. What do you think? Little circular swipe right there, like this. Nothing to it, really. Yep, like this, very, very circular. As you can see, there you go. And uh, coming back here a little bit, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Just taking care of our uh, backdrop here, folks, as we uh, continue this. I like this ultramarine theme. That's pretty good, I think. And leaving all these little uh, nooks and crannies uh, the backdrop, I think that's kind of cool too. What do you think? So far so good. So that's that. Less than a minute or so. That wasn't so bad. Uh, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's wipe this before we continue. Alright, so we don't get in trouble later on. Uh, let's see. And then, what do we got here? Sea urchin. Sea urchin is what I'm thinking about. Yeah, the sea urchin. Such a coolest thing, right? Just, um, so I'm just going to add this a little... little rocks here that's that's what I'm trying to envision here there you go sea urchin in the corner right here like this like that little corner uh, maybe a little bit of a green Do we have green folks ba, 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 ba. it's been hiding underneath it right here but we do have a green yeah a little bit of green right here like this yeah what do you think yeah just quick as we approach the seven minute mark here so just kind of I'm trying to emulate this rock formation under the ocean right here. This rock formation right here. Diagonal is always a good idea to go diagonal here. There you go. Like that. Okay. So that's uh, that's a setting backdrop for this uh, sea urchin. A little bit of abstract kind of look to it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. To to this and uh, let's see. Maybe a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown color here, folks. Yeah, a little bit of brown color here. Just uh, add to that look. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. And then the sea urchin. Well, let's do the sea urchin outline right here. A little circular, right? This thing is like ooh, a circular thing. Very easy. Easy does it. Yep. And uh, as I was painting that. Uh, urchin uh, sea otter as it's uh, munching a little prickly thing happening right here yeah sea otter their spines is what they call it I guess prickly thing there you go yeah so that's it's gonna be the main uh, subject matter for this uh, for today right here there you go prickly prickly sea urchin right here uh, that's a sea urchin. Maybe another one right here. Let's see if we have time for that one too. A little uh, prickly. Yep. There you go. Whoop. And the three is a good number, right? <laughs> We're pushing it a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's a third one right here for you. Uh, you know what? These uh, prickly thing. Let's see. Let's add some little extra dimensions to this. There you go. Prickly, prickly. There you go as it's, uh, you know, looking for its food, which is what? You guys know, kelp. 
This thing, these things love kelp to munch on. They have this mouth, a little uh, incisor looking thing at the center of uh, the bottom of its, uh, uh, its, its body. So let's see, it can just move slowly. It does move to start munching on uh, their favorite uh, food, which is a sea kelp. But uh, let's see, do we have a purple? Hmm. I thought we had a purple there. No purple? Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we could use, uh, I thought we had a purple there. It's kind of going missing for some reason. Uh-huh. Okay, ooh, that's blue. Purple, folks. Oh boy. Oh, we're in trouble. We do have a purple. Whoa. There we are. So let's get a little bit of purple action because that's the color of the sea urchin here. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, dab dab a little bit right here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll uh, figure out the detail later. Just dab that. This purplish action. Don't worry, folks. This will come out okay at the end of the day. So. A uh, little bit of pricky action, prick prick action right here. That's what I'm trying to do. Prick prick. There you go. There you go. And uh, what I can do right now is uh, instead of using this, uh, yeah, pellet knife, we can use a chopstick. Moving on to chopstick as we approach under four minutes right here, like this. See this prickly prickly lines right here, like that as it's. Uh, Let's form a little shape, yes. Before we add the uh, prickly line with this chopstick action right here. There you go. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. But uh, the problem is uh, they can uh, populate pretty, pretty fast, right? So uh, there are too many of these uh, munching, consuming uh, on the sea, the, the, the forest kelp then uh, the number of kelp will dwindle because there are way too many uh, sea urchins uh, munching on these things uh, compared to the number that's available in nature so like I was saying that's where the sea otter comes in that's right folks this is where ooh, I need to uh, showcase a bit more there you go yeah, how about we're changing the angle a little bit? There you go. Okay, so so this is where the sea urchin. There you go. Sea otter comes in to do some uh, population control, to make sure the number is in uh, healthy, healthy level, folks. So that's it. So that's uh, all there's to it. There you go. Sea urchins right here. Prickly, prickly. Uh, necessary part of nature, but uh, sometimes, you know, it just... Uh... And then, what are we gonna do as we approach this uh, two-minute mark is a uh, little curve action. Ooh, what could this be? Little curve action for us right here to indicate what? What are we indicating? We're indicating a sea kelp, right? Yeah, so that's what these uh, sea urchins came here for. A little uh, kelp action. And uh, they need that little pocket of air, right, to stay afloat. And that's what this bubbly action, bubble bubble indicates, the little pockets. There you go. And the forest of kelp right here. That's, that's what I'm indicating as we approach this. There you go, folks. And then we'll add some more details later, right here, like that. That's fine. Here you go. So, yeah, these guys are approaching this uh, kelp to uh, munch on. That's how they survive. And uh, there you go. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of that. Yeah, there you go. So bit of that. More detail action. You don't have to, I guess, do this, but uh, just to kind of make the suggestions uh, of uh, floating uh, kelp in this uh, off of coast of California, Monterey Bay, let's call it. Yeah, because I remember seeing a sea otter when we were visiting there way back, and they were munching on something. I wasn't sure what that was, and uh, later on, find out this is uh, these little these uh, cal uh, <laughs> sea urchins purplish sea urchins there that that's what they were uh, 
munching on. There you go, a little bit of that. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that look right there, right there. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. There you go. Ooh, I kind of like that color happening thing. There you go. Maybe like this. Maybe like that right here. Yep. Maybe like this. There you go. So, uh, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking about right now as you approach six five four. I think we're we've stayed within this uh, time limit, which is pretty good. So thank you very much, guys, and uh, uh, I hope you guys like this piece uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, painting them. But uh, if you want to stick around a little bit longer, let's see what I can do, adding some more details for those of you who are a little bit more advanced minded. Okay, so I spent about five to seven minutes adding some little highlights here and there with some whites and a little splash and splatter as you can see a little bubble action indicating some bubble uh, in the water so I hope you guys like this piece uh, as much as I enjoy painting them I think I've said that before but uh, here we are I hope to uh, see you guys again for another exciting day of creation bye for now Yeah.